Hello, <clears throat> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date it is April 13th, Monday, April 13th of 2020. It's almost 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm using the Panasonic uh, G7 camera to record this a little bit. Then I'll, I'll switch over and uh, do the normal way I've been doing it. <clears throat> but I'm planning on making some changes. Uh, one thing I'm planning on using the G7 a lot more. And I'm planning, if I don't chicken out, to get an Apple iPad, the not the Pro, but the one that's about three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, I've been watching YouTube videos on it and and uh, reading up reading up about it. So that's my uh, that's my plan. And here in a little bit, I'm going to show you the uh, iPad and I'm going to show you some of the attachments and ways that I've been watching YouTube videos that people have been uh, using it to make YouTube videos and I think I can do a lot better using that iPad than the way I'm doing things now and at least that's I've got a Got a bunch of notes here on uh, things to try. Uh, I'd like to have the iPad Pro, you know, because it's got a little better chip in it, and because uh, it uses C uh, port instead of uh, the other one uses what. Lightning port, and then for the C port, C for a C port, I've got already uh, some hubs and all kinds of stuff. But I just can't, I cannot bring myself because I'm having trouble just going with the three hundred and fifty dollars plus the hundred dollars for the pen, and and then the other thing that I'm going to add, um, I just can't go there. Eight hundred dollars or whatever it is for the pro, but uh, found a guy on YouTube. If I can remember, I, I need to start bookmarking things so that I can put the link underneath. Because anyway, I found this. Uh, I gotta start bookmarking these people so I can put them underneath here. And, and <clears throat> but uh, he talks about and shows using a uh, digital camera and going into a they're all sold out on because I guess everybody because of the virus is working from home or whatever but going into a box and that box goes into the iPad and uh, you know takes the video right from now I had one of the other for Windows I gave that to my grandson Get what it's called that a lot of YouTubers use for going from you know a uh, digital camera into uh, OBS or whatever. <clears throat> but this uh, other guy showed a bunch of devices and a bunch of uh, also ways to bring audio in and what have you. So I'm getting a lot of ideas. I'm making some notes. And I think that my YouTube videos are going to, after I started in here in 2005, and it's 2020, and uh, I haven't made a lot of progress in, you know, like when I started out, I was using a uh, USB, or was it a parallel port then? Well, before YouTube, it was, I was using a RS-232, you know, and a... Uh, before, you know, and so then what I started doing, you know, was like the Logitech USB cameras as they progress, and I'm still not, not using it right now, but I will in a few minutes. 
and you're going to see the result. Uh, but uh, I, I just haven't made the kind of progress that uh, in my YouTube video that I I should have. So anyway, don't touch the mouse because I am going to switch, and so I can show you some of the equipment that I think I'm going to use. And by the way, many of you are, you know know a lot more about this than I do, and I know nothing, I mean, except for the, you know, the YouTube videos that I've watched. I've never owned an Apple product in my life. I've never, when I was in Washington, D.C. for a couple weeks, my daughter there uses uh, an Apple phone, and she makes fantastic pictures still and videos with it. And it just goes to show you, I mean, and that's before now, of course, uh, cameras on the cell phones and the software now are just, it's like, why buy a, you know, digital camera when you can make such fantastic, but anyway, she, she also has the talent, which helps. And if, and if you go back in history and look at photography, you'll see in the very, you know, beginning when they had the, you know, the glass slides or whatever, when they had to, you know, the people had to stand or hold still for, I don't know, 15 seconds or something. I mean, people, some people took unbelievable great photos. And even, you know, when before digital cameras with, you know, film cameras or whatever, I think, my favorite camera that I had was a twin lens reflex camera. I loved the format and uh, I loved looking down and seeing on the right on the screen, you know, not having to, you know, so, but I had a whole bunch of different cameras. And, uh, and I, I've mentioned this before, a computer friend of mine came over to my place one, one night. We, I'd see him every two or three weeks and we'd have a pizza or something and we'd talk about the, you know the internet and computers and uh, Linux and uh, when I started out well when I started out with PC computers when he started out he had Apple computers but we didn't really talk about them in the beginning because we just had a you know I didn't know anything about them you know and he wasn't interested but eventually he got I forget which Apple computer he had, but Apple came out with a new computer, Apple computer, and it was like uh, they just discontinued that one and nothing was, you know, uh, compatible or anything, and that just, that, you know, he was, he invested a lot of money in, in his hardware and in software and everything else, but anyway, he came over one night and uh, he had a digital camera and uh, I had never seen you know and that was like wow you know I forget it was I was over a thousand dollars I forget what they were in the beginning it was a lot of money I'm not sure I'd even heard of them or maybe I just heard of them but just figured that you know, you know they, and anyway he had one and then I wow and then of course I you know I I wish there were, you know, had been digital cameras when I was growing up and when I was, when I started working. I mean, I worked, I built uh, railroad cars, I built different kinds of trucks. I, uh, did, you know, did a lot of things in my life and it would be nice. And I spent 30 years working hospital security. I think there are like, three or four pictures of me during that time. And then when I was a bike patrol officer, there was one at the first hospital that I worked at in the 1970s. Uh, I mean, I would love to have those, because my grandson one time, I had a, a model, wasn't a toy, it was a model of a KW Dark truck uh, one of the, it was a model of one of the, we, I worked in the body shop, and we built gigantic trucks. I mean, just the biggest truck you've ever seen, 
you know, bigger. Uh, I mean, they they don't travel on highways and whatever. And, I, and anyway, I had that. And he said, you know, my grown grandson. You know, why do you have a toy, toy truck? And I said, well, that's a, I, I used to build. You know, I worked in the body shop. This, I built this part. You know, these right here. No, you didn't. Said, yes, I did. No, you didn't. Why would I lie about that? You know, I, <clears throat> I'm not saying I was a, an astronaut or a nuclear engineer. Or anything. I, you know, no, you didn't. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, it'd been great to have some. Uh, I have a bunch of old pictures here, family pictures and whatever. Because well, I guess everybody does. Maybe well, not everybody, but gotta, I need to scan them. I scanned a few, but uh, God, I hate doing that. And I heard one time somebody told me, oh, well, there's a place that you can send all your pictures to and they'll scan them all for you, you know, and send it back to digital. But of course, they returned the original thing. I looked at the price and way too much money, you know, way too much money. On the other hand, how much is, you know, uh, how much is my time worth, you know? But, Anyway, don't touch the mouse, I'll be right back. Okay, whoops, wrong camera. This is uh, the Logitech, uh, I forget what, it, one of the Logitech USB cameras. Not the Brio, but I can switch to the Brio. The Brio's over here. This is on top of my monitor. Um, This is uh, the Apple iPad. Uh, I wish they put it, you know. This is the new Apple iPad. I guess you call it the 10.2 inch one. And its price here is about 380 Well, you can get it for, let's see, 279 with 32 gigabytes, but I'm going to go uh, with the 128 gigabyte, uh, you might make a recommendation if you have, you know. I, I not call that pink, but I, I kind of like, uh, kind of like that, but I don't know. So, you know, I've been looking at YouTube videos about, about it, and. Like I said, the pr thing is, I don't like that it has the lightning connector. I prefer, you know, the C connector. Um, but if you're familiar, you know, I won't have, if you're familiar with the, with the iPad, I, th I think you can understand that, uh, you know, with, with the iPad, I could easily have input, you know, from the camera that's on the iPad, you know, up on the screen, and then have the rest of the screen, but then you can also write on it, you can draw on it, you can just do so many things. Uh, I think it'd be really good for YouTube videos. Uh, but I'm planning on, you know, in bringing in video from the Panasonic G7 camera also. Of course, as I learn, you know, and if you watched my video the other day, I was talking about having, you know, the iPad and having uh, my Chrome box with 16 gigabytes, and then I'll show you the keyboard. But so I could. But then anyway, I, anyway, I hooked up the Chrome box, which is brand new, and I just upgraded it a few days ago from four gigabytes to sixteen gigabytes. And then I, you know, and then I was like, uh, "There's no point. Why? 
you know, why have that? So I might as well go back to my PC, which is running uh, Zorin. And uh, I mean, that's working out really well for me. But do I even need it? Um, why not just use the... If I just use the iPad, then I don't need the um, don't need this keyboard that you can just hit a key and switch, you know, to three different, you know, I could hit a key and be using the keyboard with my cell phone. I could hit the key and be using, uh, you know, hit the yellow key or whatever up there and be using it with the whichever monitor, you know, computer I, I you know, or I could, uh, what did I forget, or th with the iPad, and the same with the, you know, same with the mouse. Same thing, you can hit the, you know, the buttons and just switch between them. But then why I got a closet full of keyboards and mice and I'm using the Logitech G910 here for my keyboard. I'm happy with it. Of course it's a USB but of course I can go from the lightning connector to a hub and uh, you know USB ports and so I don't know. Well I'm sure the one thing I'm going to do is I am going to get the iPad and I am going to get the, uh, let's see, I think I got it listed. Yeah, this, a guy, <clears throat> let's see, it, I think he demonstrated it, a YouTuber. And uh, so I will plug my Panasonic G7 camera into this, and I'll plug that into the uh, iPad and then I can bring in video that I can edit and then I can also have you know the way I have now video on the screen from that or I could also have video on the screen you know from the Panasonic and I could have video also on the screen in my YouTube video which would be of another view or a view of the desk or something, showing something if I'm talking about it or whatever. All kinds of possibilities. Um, so, and what I'm going to try to do when I start using the I, iPad, something that many of you have told me, and, and I've known from the very beginning. Well, I didn't know that when I started making YouTube, well, when I was making I was making videos before there was a YouTube or a Google or Netflix or all of those. I was streaming video uh, with other companies that see you, see me, and others. That's, and before that, I was streaming video that was, I was just streaming the video from my computer. As you can imagine, the computers were old, I mean, older computers with not a lot of power. And so if I had like seven people watching my video, I couldn't do anything on the, you know, I couldn't bring up anything on the, you know, and I don't know, seven or ten people uh, was about all my computer could handle and my, you know, bandwidth or whatever. So, um, So that's the uh, that's the plan. So I'm going to try to make the not necessarily the video shorter, but I'm going to try to make them on one subject, and that way I can label them and tag them and whatever. And if then if you're interested in uh, Panasonic G7, there, maybe there'll be a video you know 
a YouTube video from me on the Panasonic G7. I won't because there's a ton of videos already on it by people that do a lot better job than I do. But there might be something that uh, that I can do a video on and I will, when I label it, then I'll be able to find it because I've had some people say, ask a question or whatever, and I made a video on that. But I can't tell them where it is because I that was probably in a hour video and I probably spent 10 or 15 minutes talking about something in there someplace. Um, something too that um, I uh, thought about I haven't tried it, haven't looked into it too much. There is a way to allow uh, one or more of you people who watch a video, my videos, well, whoever's videos you're watching, to give you the ability to do some things. And, you know, it's the level of security, you know, like you could have the ability to you know, edit a video, to delete a video, to uh, change the text, to uh, uh, the keyword. You could do all that kind of, you know, all that kind of stuff. At some point, I might like to find somebody, more than one, who could go through and do, especially like when I make, well, I'm saying I'm not going to make those kind of videos anymore, but when I make a video that, say, is an hour long and where I ramble and cover a bunch of things, uh, I don't want to listen to myself for an hour. <laughs> After I've made the video, I don't want to listen to it at all. I just want to upload it and check that it's, uh, you know, that the audio is good and stuff like that. But maybe I could have somebody who could go in and watch it, you know, and write down the times and then put, you know, underneath it would put, you know, if you're interested in Jim talking about how a Radio Shack uh, scanner saved his life uh, that's uh, 29 minutes and 30 seconds if you're interested in Jim talking about a uh, security officer that he worked with that was shot and killed that's you know 50 minutes and you know 45 seconds or whatever do an index you know something like that and other things that people would maybe think of so let me recap Here are the things on my wish list, by the way. I just can't see myself spending 200. I have two or three um, different, well, more than that. But, oh, I saw a guy on here who put together these parts uh, and made him a, a good microphone stand. And uh, uh, I've got a microphone stand, but I liked his better. I may do that. Now I, uh, this looks to me like, you know, this, but $200, my, that's half the price of a, uh, I don't know if I could bring myself to spend that kind of money, you know, for this. But it, he gave it really good reviews and showed some samples of it and audio and uh, everything else. If you're wondering why, in the upper right-hand corner, there is uh, the cart for Amazon with a uh, bra in there. That's not for me. My ex-wife my ex-wife and my grown son, we all share an apartment. We share the expenses or whatever. And she uses my Amazon account to... Uh, order things sometimes. Not like I do, I order a lot, but she just rarely does it, but she has picked out an item, I guess, that she wants, and it's in the cart. So, and I just haven't clicked to order. I'm, you know, waiting for some other items that I want. And, uh, I don't need a, well, actually, I could show you. I actually do need a bra, and I'm not, that's not for me. 
Anyway, I just can't see myself also spending $200 for this. So I think I'm going to go with it. Well, I do want to give you, if I'm going to give you a better YouTube video, I want to give you better audio also. You can probably hear my 29 or my 20 gallon fish tank over here, the filter. I stopped using the, the, uh, uh, sponge filters and I'm using an external filter on the back makes a lot of noise you may also sometimes I have a little refrigerator over there a small one doesn't have a freezer on it I keep my coke in there and now I'm keeping uh, salads in there buying them already pre you know by the way we ordered in today or yesterday actually we got an order in from uh, Walmart of food and they were out of uh, an item that my ex-wife wanted and then after we got her order it showed up that there was a, you know that was available so we placed a $40 order you know for a couple of those items and then some other stuff and it will be here tomorrow I think I was telling the other day when we started out you could place an order on Monday and you would get it on Tuesday and then because of the virus and all that kind of stuff then it became you place an order on Monday and you get it on Wednesday but we placed an order you know yesterday and we're getting it tomorrow so they're you know But anyway, I don't think I'll be buying the this microphone system. I am going to buy this. If you have any recommendations, uh, I'm not sure. And I have a, I think I have a pen here, and a very inexpensive pen. I have. I think this will actually work with the iPad, but I'm thinking also of getting the $99. And two, I do wish that this iPad. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna get a case for this thing. I may change my mind. On all my cell phones, I always get the really. I don't care about the size, you know. I get the rubberized things. But, so, so I'm not sure that I will need, I think I'll, I think I'll wait on these two items, get it in, and see if I actually want to have a desktop computer also and have it on the desktop. I think I'm going to use it like a desktop computer, but I mean I can always unplug it and then uh, just take the iPad someplace. Um, I think you may have seen, let's see, we go to playlist, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, why is Liked video, studio, Panasonic. Okay, all the playlists. Okay, it just doesn't show them all. Okay. This is listing, though, every. Oh, Washington, D.C. Okay. Okay, hello. <clears throat> it's, uh... Nope, that did not work out. Why is that in there? Okay, well, up here, Washington DZ playlist. Apparently there's 10 videos in there. A, uh, and 
my daughter in Washington D.C. That I went to visit her and her husband, and uh, she made all these video. Well, no, I think I made a couple when I got back or something. I believe. Um, maybe not. But okay, here's here's one that's one minute, and I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but. Here's one that's, now she made this video in just a little bit of time on her Apple iPhone using, you know, the Apple iMovie or whatever it is, just doing it in a very short period of time. And she made all of these and it just, I think in that one evening or whatever, I believe. So here is one that's one minute and three seconds. Oh, okay, I'll put a link to this playlist. This is uh, my LaDonna had to work this one day, so my son-in-law uh, took me to the Smithsonian Institution to the National Air and Space Museum. And it's only three minutes long. I'm going to go ahead and show you that, you know. I'm going to let you. Because the point being... Well, of course, now, this was, yeah. So she had to have the video that I made. That's right, because she didn't go with this. But this just shows you what she was able to do in just a few minutes, a very few minutes, on her iPhone using iMovie. And uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you this. If you're tired or whatever, when this ends, I'm going to... Uh, beg you to uh, click on uh, thumbs up or something and then if, anyway this, if you're not interested take off and thank you very much oh I'm sorry wrong camera that's going to be hard with that anyway this is the National Air and Space Museum in Washington DC Amateur radio satellites. Oh, 
<laughs> that's another one starting so I'll put the link to that playlist but that's I I think I can using iMovies or that other one that they've there's I've got it on my list I forget what it's called it's like $29 the software and uh, one time fee so Anyway, thank you. For, oh, okay. Please use my Amazon link below. I'm looking at that camera again. Maybe I need a bag to put on. A little bag when I'm not using to put over. Uh, please use, if you can, the Amazon link. You know, it'll take you to Amazon. And you don't have to buy any of the... Let me show you here. Well, of course, the, the, where the link... Well, there's more than one link, but... Uh... Now, you don't have to buy any of these things. Once you're there, if you go and purchase something, I will get a small commission. It doesn't cost you any, you know, any, any more. And, uh, so, uh, please do that if you can. And I appreciate it. Again, I'm looking at this camera over here. Oh, my God. I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching.